pull up, pull up, pull up. You know what I'm saying? This song, you know. This song, I need some real road campion. This song needs some real road campion star, like some go a road at night time and bleach and bag a select and but one thing you know it's costing it's costing as fuck it's costing man this need a real road campaign this need some some bag at night time in the dance them damn man yeah Worse when your voice last on the rhythm, when you, when you, when you, when you record last on the rhythm, you know. You have to go hit the, the streets running. I don't know if, I don't know if, you know, because it's costing. It's costing, costing, costing. Trust me. It costs a lot of money, star. Yeah, man. It costs a lot of money. A lot of money. It's costing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if it don't work, you lose a bag of money. If it don't work, you just go out there and promote. Promote music and you lose a bag of money, star. If you promote a music right now in Jamaica, can run you all 50, 60,000 US dollars. <laughs> you can use that to buy a piece of land, you know. If you promote a song right now in Jamaica, but you say if it busts, you get back that in a two shows. If it busts, you think turn up, you know. Yeah, man, so we keep on running those risks. I'm taking them chances there. High risk, high reward. So we take them chances most time in our music. We have a song and it's sound good. And we hit the ground running, but it costing. It costs a lot of money, you know. But, you know, it's just spending back for your career. If it work, if it work, you know, say so you have a hit song. And when you have a hit song, you can name... You know, name your price. Because I remember every man just as big as them last hit song, you know. Every catalog way, you know, you can live off of your catalog, but I'm saying every man just as big as them last hit song. So it's a whole heap of work. A whole heap of work, you know. Yeah, man. A whole heap of work. Right now, if you make a song, I'll bust right now. You have to have PR, the TikTok people, you know. You have some TikTok people right now, you know. And some YouTuber, you know. You have to pay them, you know. Yeah, man. Because of them are the influencers, them right now, you know. So if you not have a piece of money right now, you put aside for bust your tune, you know. Worse, you're not like the current you, them, you know. If you're not current, if you're current, the streamers, them, are the viral people them they want to use your content or your music to create content you see they want to use your music to create content but if you're not current you think you can just sit back and just say you're going to put out a song and that song is going to just automatically you know break no the business is still again one time when you had a radio station you know, that was the main source of breaking tune or the sound system or the selector them. You could have link up five selectors and you could link up five radio man and you get the thing in circulation, you get the thing in rotation. But now you have to link up the TikTok influencers them for break a song. So you have to link up the whole of the, the popular people them on TikTok if you want to break a song. And them are, you have to link up the dancers, them, the influencers, them with dance. So when you really check it out, you know, if you got TikTok, if you got 10 people on TikTok, where, 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 where are the top influencers, them? The top 10 influencers on TikTok, you know. Just thinking about that, every time I go live, them hours and night, them just come back, back in my live star. Yo. Big old idiots thinking about that, Grasta. Mm -hmm. So, you have to understand that, right? 
If you have a song and you want to break this song, it's not just releasing the song and doing a music video and put it out, you know. Right now, you have to go to the, the, the influencers them. So if you're lucky, uh, one top influencer may charge you 600, 700, 800, 1000 dollars. That's one influencer. To break a song, you might want about 10 influencers, especially if it's a dancehall song. So you need like 10 influencers. You see? And these 10 influencers, you're going to run you maybe $8,000, $7,000 US. You see? So the influencers, them, they maybe dance to your song or maybe them just post a, a video clip. That is it. They post it on their page, right? So when they post it on the page, it's not a guarantee that it's going to go viral. You understand? It's not a guarantee, you know? You don't must go viral. So you're talking about, you need a $10,000 budget. Plus, you have to do promo ad and all of them things here. So you can go on YouTube. And you can do Google Ads on YouTube. You may pay a thousand dollars to do Google Ads. You see? Or you can go on Spotify and you can do ads on Spotify. But you may spend ten thousand dollars in just promo between Google Ads, between Spotify ads. Um Boosting your video on Instagram and on, and on Facebook. When you're done all of that, you know, you're already $20,000 in. You don't have a hit song yet. So you have to sit back now and wait to see if a playlist is going to pick up your song on Spotify, a top playlist, because you're pitching it to playlist and stuff like that. So you're hoping that a top playlist may pick up your song and the playlist that picks up your song has millions of followers or listeners. And that playlist that your song is added to, people start requesting, start um, streaming your song or start searching for your song. You see? So it's like music nowadays is like luck, you know. Because your little twenty, thirty thousand dollars that you're going to spend to break a song, it cannot compete with a five million a ten million budget a ten million dollars or five million dollars budget from Taylor Swift company Beyonce company Justin Bieber's company those top artists your little twenty thirty thousand dollars that you gonna try to get some you know playlist and get some google ads and some tiktok promotion and you cannot compete with the people in the market space who are paying millions for their stuff to go viral you see you can't compete with that you know? so music is strictly luck these days so the key to it is you just go and put out music, just release music, just release music and just hope and pray. Just hope and pray. Just release music, just release music, create a little dance for your music and hope and pray. You see? But you will have good songs, big songs, songs that sounds good, sound good. And those songs don't break. So, oftentimes I see people chat about, go make music, go find a hit song. Fuck out of here. You think a hit song, I just saw a hit song go nowadays? If it, if it did so a hit song, go, go find a hit song, everybody would have a hit song right now. Being the man would have 10 hit song right now. I run the chart them. Every artist would have had 10, 15 hit song around the chart. You think I saw hit song? We have to just grateful 
for know so we had the music so long. And we we I'm just blessed to be at a time. Uh, to, to, to have the hit songs them that I made during a time when the music had different channels. So people used to play what sounded good. Now it's not about what sound good, it's what go viral. It's what go viral nowadays. So me just come from an era where people used to play what sounded good. Majority of the songs they played sounded good. Exactly, Joanna. And $20,000, you're talking about just a few, you know, two, two months or so, you know, you know, then it, then it runs out. See? So when people feel like you can't just get up and go make it song. You think that's how it song go? Them days when it song I make done the way how it song used to make. Like you go into the studio and decide that you're going to sing a good tune. And you sit down and you put chorus and that done. That done. You see? That done. So when you think say it song, people just jump up and go to the studio and make it song and make a sad mistake. You see? People have to try to find other ways now to keep themselves relevant. People have to try to find other ways now to get a buzz. People have to try to find other ways now to get the attention of the people. Them. You see? That is it. There are different ways that people find people keep themselves current. I see rappers Major, major hip hop rappers like Cameron, them. Cameron, them, they are, Cameron and other rappers, you know what they're, what they're, what they're running? What they're doing? They're doing um, podcast talking about sports. Cameron. Those big rappers are doing podcast talking about sports. Because they realize if they stick around in music, they will not be selling or they cannot compete with the new millennial them that are downloading um, drill music and trap music and all that stuff that's going on. So these people are actually doing other things. So some of you fools, when you see me come on the internet and I come and I will a conversation and I reason with people. This is what I am doing. If you don't want to see it, nyam shit. Stop complaining. Stop going under the comment. Them go bow. Me no want to hear nothing from Vegas. Because you saw my name. But nyam shit. You see? People are doing other things. Go and look. Camera and them. Nuff, 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 nuff people. They're doing other things. You think so we get up every day and go make music for what? Make music for what? For go put on in a, for, 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 for sell, for do a hundred download, downloads, to do a thousand downloads, to do five thousand Spotify streams, to do twenty thousand Spotify. We can't, can't continue doing that. Yeah, we put out music and it out there. If one of them catch fire, then so be it. But you think I'm going to continue to spend $50,000, $60,000, to break a song and when the song does not break, I have to hold the bag. I lose fifty, sixty thousand dollars. You know how many times within the past when I just broke it down. Broke it down was twenty twelve. Since broke it down, I've had so high that did that was very, really big in the Latin market and in the French market. So outside of so high, I've not had a hit song since fucking twenty twelve. You know how many songs I promoted since 2012? Since 2012, you know how many hit songs, how many songs I promoted hoping that they were going to be hit songs? Huh? I promoted over 20 songs. The, the, the least 20 songs. And to promote those 20 songs, 
I spent the least $30,000 to promote them. I could have bought one clouds on the hill. I bought one piece of land and I plan to build on it now. So you think we can continue to just record songs? And the songs them sound good. But all we can hear, that sound good here. That sound nice here. Nobody are, no, nobody is interested in, in, in music that sounds good anymore. Nobody is interested in that. Facts. Music right now is like 30 seconds, 10, 20 seconds and you get a buzz, you get a high. Music right now is just get a little high and go about your business. You just get a, you just get a, music is like a shot. Like you just take a shot, boom, done. That is music now. Nobody not even going into studio to do bridge and all them shit there anymore. You wouldn't last hear a song with a bridge. One time people are saying, yo, let's go to the bridge. Bridge your bum buckler. Bridge done. One time a man, I say, yo, where's it? Yo, yo, we got to find an intro. Let's find a good intro. Intro done. One time a man I worry him head I wor or a woman I worry herself where to find a out of yo I need a better intro. Yo, can you play this on the intro? Can you play this? Um do 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 yeah um that was something more um um try do 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 yeah that have a vibe but um um Change the song. Um, give me, give me, make it look at me a more. Change the keyboard sound. Uh, done. Clap done. Can't come come tap. Like when the, listen to me. When you who sit down on the internet, who is not a musician, you're not an artist, you never fucking sing a song in your life yet. You don't know what it takes to make a fucking hit song. Go nyam shit. I love me, me, me talk when I talk about the history of music and I'm talking about st stuff about the industry. Yes, if you want to call me a vlogger, so be it. Nyam shit. Because you're watching me. That's why you know I'm a vlog. See? No. We have to understand this. Music is not what it used to be. See? So appreciate the music that you grew up listening to. Appreciate the music that you loved. Appreciate the music that you think was music or is music. Appreciate that. You see? Just look at this. Listen, look at this. Look at this. Listen to... Some artists that are old now. Listen, go back and listen to some artists that are that have gotten old, right? Listen to their songs that they recorded forty years ago, fifty years ago, thirty years ago, whatever. Just listen to the, them, them them songs. Listen to the artists that recorded all these big hit songs in the seventies in the 60s who are still with us when you listen to their voices and you hear them on the radio you're like wow yeah you listen to them sing now their voice aged You listen to their music that they did 40, 50 years ago and listen to them sing now, it's a whole different thing. See? It's like I was listening to um, Howard Hewitt. I was listening to Howard Hewitt, Joanna. Great singer. How are you with us? One of the great man voices, so sweet. 
bad singer. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have a second time around. Before you go, there's something that I like to say. How about you with the man voice? The man voice is like a friggin'. You listen to how what you would know and you appreciate and you have a you have a respect for what that man was able to do with his vocals when he was young. That is how I look at music, Bridget. This is how I appreciate music. I don't come around telling people about go find a hit song. I don't want to tell Barry Salmon to find a hit song. I appreciate Barry Salmon what he did all these years with that voice. I don't want to tell Barrington Levy to go find a hit song. I appreciate Barrington Levy. I know I'm going to tell Sanchez to go find a hit song. I know Sam Sanchez as one of the greatest singer Jamaica has ever seen. And when I listen to their songs that they did 40, 30 years ago, I have so much respect for these people. And I respect, so I listen to, and, I, and, I, and I understand that. Even the voice age. And you're like, yo, how that happen? And it's just a voice, even that age, because your vocal box is not what it used to be. Your vocal cords, just like how you lose muscle, just like how you start wrinkle, just like how your teeth them start drop out, just like how your eye them, your eyesight going, just as how your ear, your earring going, just like how your hair start fall out. That is how your vocal box deteriorate over the years, especially if you drink, smoke, take drugs. See? So when I realize that these things are not permanent, I have to respect and appreciate what a person did when they were able to belt out them notes there. Whitney Houston, she left us just in time. Just in time. We miss her. We love her. We hate the fact that she left. But Whitney Houston left just in, in time. Because that gift that she came here with, if she had stayed around uh, to this age, still trying to sing, she would have be, been like, People would just have her as a, the people would be dogging her, dragging her. Social media, no, them can see her, them can see up in her morning. Them can look up, them can post her looking like a crackhead. Them can post her, take whatever happening with her. People would not have the same appreciation for her music. When them have no, this year she left just in time because she was getting to that point where people were talking shit about Whitney Houston. People were like, oh, I'm tired of seeing Whitney Houston. Uh, what the fuck are you too tired to see Whitney Houston? The fuck you are? It's not you that come here with a gift there. Eh? But you think that, okay, I have the right to say that and I have the privilege to say that and I have the authority to say that because Whitney Houston going through some things. Because Whitney Houston having some issues. You feel like you have the authority to speak like that about Whitney Houston. Fuck you. So she left just in time before the world could drag her 
further. And even in her death, she have a little friend who come out and say she and I used to sleep. She used to eat her pum pum. She used to this, she used to that, and still trying to drag her. Michael Jackson left just in time. The right time. They just left in time. You see? They left just in time. Because Michael Jackson was a zombie. According to reports. Michael Jackson, according to information, was using... You know the thing when you go to do a surgery, they put you to sleep and you're knocked out? That was what Michael Jackson was on. Michael Jackson had to be taking anesthesia, basically. Right? Anesthetic drugs. To sleep. Now the world was dragging this man. The world was talking all kind of thing about this man. This man was taking drugs to sleep. To fucking sleep. A lot of people did not know that when Michael Jackson here caught fire at the Pepsi commercial, his scalp was badly damaged and it fucked him up. He was having headaches. Headaches. You see him on the stage, spinning, dancing, holding things. According to reports, Michael Jackson was having headaches that he suffered with for years. You see? So he was addicted to painkillers because the painkillers and the sleeping thing allowed him to be knocked out of this world. The only problem is he was not sleeping because the sleep was induced. So he couldn't dream. You see? He couldn't dream. He didn't have any REM sleep. Rapid eye movement. You see? But you thought that, oh, you have the authority to speak a certain way about Michael Jackson because what? You feel like you the on the same talent wave length like him. You feel like you can dance like him. You feel like you can sing like him. So you decide that you have the authority to tell Michael Jackson to go away, to come out of here. You have the authority to tell me to come on the internet, yes I know? Niam shit. You don't have that authority. Because if I put you in a fucking room right now, you cannot sing one of my songs then. You cannot sing Heads Eye. You cannot fucking sing I Am Less. You have no talent to sing that. So nyam shit. If you see me on the internet and I'm reasoning about something and you don't like the reasoning, keep it moving. There are so many things on the internet for you to watch. You're fucking complaining on that fucking Mr. Vegas post like you're a fucking idiot. Because if I were out there fucking taking drugs, if I were out there being an alcoholic, Standing on the fucking corner, shitting up myself. My teeth, them gone out of my head because I'm a fucking crackhead. You will be fucking in your house. Pitying me, praying for me or some shit or talking shit about me. So if I want to come on social media, why is that in your business? Tanya Stevens, she has done so many hit songs. Tanya Stevens can come to put her chair, bring her bed, bring her stool, bring her stove, 
and park up on her Facebook or her Instagram and talk all fucking day if she want to talk. Who the fuck are you to talk about? You tired of Tanya Stevens? Are you tired to see Vegas? What have you done for people to be tired of you? What the fuck have you done for me to say I am tired of you? What have you done? What have you done in this life for me to say I am tired of seeing you? What have you done? Please, tell me. What have you done? You're tired of seeing Lady Han? You're tired of hearing Lady Han speak? What the fuck have you done that you can measure up to what Lady Anne has done in this world? Because she made a big fucking hit song. What have you done? What have you done? Nothing. Because I never you, God bless that way there. You don't get that blessing there. And chances are, you got your fucking blessing, but because you're worrying about me and when me attack say and you're worrying about me and me if you go find a it's on your blessing pass you long fucking time because you were there worrying about and telling people them if you go do something when you should have to go do something so when you sit down i worry about what people are do go blood clot do something with your talent and that in the bible you know a man I go about in business and he had some workers and he give the workers them. He share the talent, give the people. He give one five, give one four, give one three, give one two, and give one one. The one them give the five talent, he multiply up the talent them, he take them and he turn them, and he this and him that and him. And the man he give four, the four man, the four man increase it, double it. The man he give three, double it. You see, man, when he give one, talk about, oh, that guy can come give man one, one talent, I'm here. Yeah, tough. We either to take man for, eh? Yeah, yeah, you do one, 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 make all of the money, and nobody no get none, eh? A greedy, you no greedy, you know. No, 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 yo. So when the boss come back, the boss say, "Man with the five talent, what you do?" The man say, "Yo, boss, you know, so me turn it, yeah, man. Me turn it in the boss you and see it. Yeah, you know, the boss he comes to boom and say, what? The boss he say, keep the ten of them." You see the man at four? The man said, yeah, man, boss, let me turn up. The man said, keep the four more upon the four. You see the man at three? The man said, yeah, man, boss. The man said, keep the whole of them. You see the man at one ear? No, John, no, boss, you know, say, yo, me never told like what oh, one you give me, you know. You know, say, you know, say the Bible right after Jamaican people, right? You know, say, Jamaican people they write the Bible after. It dirty Jamaican people. You know, say, them they write the Bible after. When they didn't know, right? When they, when they know? Yeah. God did already RD and it, you know. For right, the Bible off a dirty Jamaican people. Dirty Jamaican people, the Bible right off. Yeah. Go read it. Man, the one telling you, yo, yo, John, oh, yeah. John, oh, yeah, oh, boss here. Yeah. yeah, man, I hear that the tech man for you. Know, for the tech man for. The Zane after you have all of the bumble club money, I come, come give man one talent, I want to pay you. I, you know, I come give man thousand dollar. Well, Claude, thousand dollar can do. Thousand dollar. Eh? Eh? Yo, thousand dollar me buy. Yo, yo, a thousand dollar bag for my bumba Claude weed. Thousand dollar bassy. Thousand dollar. You rate and a rate man in a bassy. You rate and a rate man. You know, say, yo, I just threw man a cool, you know. A cool man a cool. Make man a come done up here, you know. I just threw man a cool, you know, because you don't know, yeah. I ain't even a friend and they are uh, work us and uh, that's why poor people are here rabbing you know. Yeah man, I can give man one grand. I have to give man one grand. Yo, this yo, where this I go buy? Where this I go buy? Yo, Jamaican people don't write the Bible for say man, you get the one talent. I tell the man, boy, yo, you have all of the money and you're rich, you know. You're rich, you know. And I go, so the man say, yo, give me this book. <laughs> He might not say, give me this cloth here. And I just run him off my place and say, go ahead and just curse him. I said, move your nasty stinking blood <laughs> Come off of my place, go ahead, dirty dog. Shit, he was. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Yeah, hey, man, the Bible right off of Jamaican people, man. Dirty Jamaican people, hey, man. Dirty Jamaican people. No doubt Go make a hit song. I get fuck out of here. Fuck you, go tell me go make a hit song. What the fuck you are? How 
dare you? You could even make it by your blood clot church choir or the school choir. The fuck you come tell people go, go, go make it song? Where's your talent? Where's your talent? You know what? You never pay attention to your talent. Because maybe you could have run, you know. I never did realize if you run. You come to go and go find a hit. Find a hit, you clad. You think that's a hit song? You think hit song does butter pan catch? You think say hit songs are butter pan catch? If hit songs are did butter pan catch, right now every artist are tour and around the world, it be a hit songs and a sell out stadiums. You think hit songs are butter pan catch? Especially in, in at this time. When me have to go take off, me wool and me clothes and show them, say, yo, my body had a size, yeah. And me have to go do one threesome with two girls. And one girl have to suck one of me toe them. And one have suck one of me ears. And one have push one tongue down in my nose. And all kind of same thing. You think said, it's an easy to come. At them where the it's an come nowadays. Some viral thing, y'all have suck your toe, suck your little toe. You have to make certain say all the little two of an all can't pan it where you know say can't the pan it when the people and see girls suck off all the can it go viral. Viral that gone in your song boss. You think that's a hit song go? You think you just get up and just make hit songs on nowadays? Either you go pay some whole heap of money and broke every little money where you have done already. Gone back in the music. You fuck out of your table like you nothing know, so people just blood like you think mit hit song making up. Like 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 I want like a horse can and you go go oh do 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 and it don't turn it song golly but for the last man he come out of the fucking golly with one song where you walk out of me walk out of me something walk out of me you see you see nobody else come out of the golly look how long that till golly but I'll come come dead you're going to cast your hit song just bat up and catch you're going to hit song bat up poop deck give me a really good no out a year. So when you don't see me on the internet, when you don't want, uh, what the fuck you are to come tell me about you? You're tired of me. me. No, 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 no. I don't understand. Let me see one woman where they say the woman literally favor a donkey. Because some of these social media platforms, I go up on the motor and go read me little news. I know what's happening, right? So I go go look, more time I go, I see them put up something, them tag me, I go me look, I say, me read to the comment them. I see one woman, I say the woman look like a donkey in a real life, and she not understand, you know. So the time she did take daddy, I watch me, you know. Maybe, I even know she look old, you know, but she miss her gift, because if you look like a fucking donkey, it means that you can't fucking run. So you miss your calling, and I come a blood clot, but you're tired to see me on the internet. Oh, the fuck you feel a donkey, and tired to see me. Explain that to me. How the fuck you feel about donkey and tired to see me? And you're looking in a mirror in your fucking house and you're tired to see yourself? You're looking in a mirror and you're not tired to see yourself, but you're tired to see me. You're tired to see me, but you're not tired to see yourself. Just check, just check the levels, bro. Just check the levels and the mentality. Just check the mentality, no man. You're tired to see me. Me will get a gift. Me will get a blessing where you never did get. Because if you got my blessings, you would have to fix your donkey teeth them. If you got my blessing, you would have never. Dep on the internet a smile without teeth in your mouth. You'd have on good clothes. And you would not be on the internet looking at me. Because you'd have to do something else. So you don't get my blessing. I am truly blessed. Abundantly, me bless, me bless till me blessing overflow. So as long as wherever the blessing come from, the source now take it back. Who the fuck you think you are? I would love to sit in a room with these people 
I would love to sit in a room with these people and really, really have a conversation. Me bless my cup overflow. Me bless till when somebody beg me something, me can stretch my hand, give them and still have surplus. Me storehouse full of food. But you I worry about me coming on the internet. You I worry about me I come on the internet. Come talk about social issues. And you never get my blessing. Listen. Me. As I said before, me appreciate everything in this life. When it comes down to talent, gift, all them things. I may appreciate how people are able to use their vocals and leave that sound even when they're long gone. You have chosen people. You have people who are created for a purpose. You are not the purpose. Your purpose is your purpose. My purpose and my purpose. Your journey is your journey, my journey and my journey. You see? Your destiny and your destiny, my destiny and my destiny. You see? As long as I am not getting up and causing you to lose sleep, food, your rights, all of these things, go and niam shit. And worry about yourself. You see? As long as me not threaten your right to live, go niam shit. Because that is when you're supposed to have a problem with me. When I'm threatening your right to live, your right to food, your right to water, your right to health, all of them. If I'm threatening that, but not for who no love people, where is a threat to your social life, a threat to your, to your, to your livelihood, a threat to your children, I am none of those. I have your children don't have to worry about me abusing them in any way. Your finances is not a threat because of me. Because I work very hard and I secure my own finances. I work very hard and I leave and I'm making sure when I leave here, I leave resources for my children. So not even my children is going to be a problem to you or your children. Because I'm working very hard to make sure that my children are taken care of. How they have, a res they have a resources. If they want to fuck it up, they fuck it up. So I'm not a threat to you, your children, nothing. What the fuck you have a problem with me? Explain that. As a matter of fact, you're on the internet. I've never met you in real life. How do you have a problem with me? I'm sure you can read. So if you see something pops up and it says Mr. Vegas, just fucking ignore it. You don't want to learn anything from Mr. Vegas? Just ignore it. Jesus did come on earth according to the Bible. A lot of people never want to learn anything from him. They never want to learn anything from him and that is Jesus. You think it's everybody I expect is going to want to learn something from me? You think I am speaking 
about social issues and the music industry because I want everybody to learn something from me. Then Jesus not come here and then kill him. Because everybody didn't want to learn from him. Some people they told Jesus to shut the fuck up. And that was quote unquote Jesus. Who had the power to make them fucking listen. Who had the power to make them like him. Because Jesus could have just know what they're thinking and just change them heart. To make everybody like him. And Jesus never do that. Jesus never forced people to like him. So why you think I want everybody to like me? I come to the Bible the same people them that Jesus broke bread with. Them same one turn up and say, kill him and give with Barabbas. The thief. You see? Truth is, I am highly blessed. Truth is, me born with a gift. But I did not get the five talents. Like what the Bible talked about. Me get both one, two. But guess what me do? Me maximize it. Me make use of it. You see? Me never throw it back to the boss. Some of you get on a talent and fuck it up and never do nothing with it because you never have the discipline to reach anywhere musically. You never, get the, you never have the discipline to reach anywhere education wise. You never have the discipline to reach anywhere athletic wise. So now you don't turn big people, you don't look around and see everybody will make something with them talent or, or maximize their talent. You don't decide, say, you don't have the fucking authority to speak about them when you will never have the discipline to even get your talent off the ground. Just think about it. Because there must be something that you, you, you were born to do. If it's even to be a mentor to somebody. You, you were born to do something. Maybe, maybe you never born to have five, with five talent. Maybe you did born with one. But you fuck up the opportunity to maximize your one talent. And decide say you want to come tear down when me build with my two. Or my one. Oh, fucking dear you. Go and niam shit. TLC TV says, Not everyone get the opportunity to explore that talent. Rubbish. Rubbish. And if you did not get the opportunity to explore that talent, don't come now and tell me where did explore my one. What to do, when to do, how to do, what to do, who to do, where to do. You see? You don't have the authority there. Because you see me? Me make the opportunity possible to explore the one talent we me get. So you whenever a quote unquote get the opportunity to explore yours, go back and look back which part you did have an opportunity. And what you do with it. Somehow you know. One did have the potential, one did have the opportunity, but you no miss it. Case in point, Jamaican people. Jamaican people, you know. Them love say, oh, me never get an opportunity for you. Hey, hey, hey. You got your opportunity. You just don't know. I ain't a member. I ain't never did know. See, I got through a little test. You went through a little test. 
The man when you come and send you go a shop and give him thousand dollar and you come back and bow. Me can't take a change. The man de, no one has you again. Because maybe the man they come with a blessing, you know. And you feel the test. A simple thing like that. You see? No for no woman. Who no find out some good man, you know. We are willing to take care of you. Know? Send you to go to school. Enough things. But a man find out some idiot. So you just get two fucking two bag juice. Or two bags food. I too hear do and I eat that. Enough time, yeah. Enough people. When you get a little work, when you go on a tea for the woman sitting in the motor store. Because when you hear yeah, red, when you tea for the sitting in the motor store and go with them. You see? Enough time. Enough time it comes to come and give people up at your people a chance. And them don't know say yo. It's a test this year I go through. Some of we give them all the money for go look about something. Like I case in point. You have like an artist you would see? The artist you would know. The youth is a youth way. Me always see him come around a queue. No. Me I go now. Me I go. Me I go. Me I go. Me I go. Let you know. Me I go. Me I go. Me I go. Show you something. Me I show you something. I show you. Me I show you something. See? Watch it. Before me, we talk about my story. See? The other day, see? Mm. I don't call the name Pana one because, see? I don't call the name. But the other day, I see a, me see a sister, in, see? And I said, John, what's that sister in You know? So I see a little thing going on and Ray, and I said, John, what's that? Boom. All right. So I meet my sister in the other day, and I said, Remind me. So I remember this history. So I start. Recall, recall, recall. Because this history. No way better off than women knew her. Over 10 years ago. See? From broke it down days we know her. So I remember said, this is Trini Dava man. We love her. This is Trini Dava man. We love her. Love her. But man we are married to her. Love her. Everything. I do anything for her. Man I'm a virgin. And this is Trini. Man by car gear. Put her in a house. Fly from foreign. This, that, 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 lover. So she hear our friend the Tabo, be good. See? And our friend the Tabo, our man who big and, and so she jumped at the argument. And go tell our friend about fear man would. You see? Which is the opposite of what our friend matter about. And our friend make you get back to the man. And I said to her, I say, that was the opportunity in her life, you know. Where you fuck it up. And you now get back the opportunity again in our life. So when you talk about opportunity, enough time opportunity come on way, but you don't fuck you up. Enough time. And enough time something I go on for you. I don't go tell all you no know, friend them. I don't know so you know, friend them I look away out to. I don't know so you know, friend them don't like to see what is happening for you. Know. I don't go chat to them out. I want a friend them just go back to one of people them want to deal with. 
or find something you want to do. You don't go to the house with one fuck. I go give the man a little one bun. I don't know what to say. If friend, I she tell about the man. And fuck you up. Because you go run your mouth. No for you no blessing the pan way. I want to go tell people about you and the blessing just turn back. Or they intercept it. Understand that, Bridget. So you no fuck up on a blessing. I want to fuck up on a talent. You don't have the authority. Or if you never did get the opportunity, whatever the fuck it is, me will make use of the opportunity. You don't have no authority to tell me what to do, when to do, how to do, where to do, all of the above. Niam shit. Wonder if you understand that. You don't have the authority to tell nobody we maximize or make or took the opportunity to better themselves in a life. You see? You don't have the authority there. Because I'm quite sure if we should put our storehouse side by side you will be begging me bread. Me 100% sure of that. So when you don't see me out there talk about social issues, if you don't want to hear, nyam shit. And keep it moving.